So. We are here at the World Social Security Forum in Doha, Qatar, and I'm very delighted to have Mr. Al Araimi from uh, Oman here right next to me. Thank you. Mr. Al Araimi, what, how would you describe the situation in, of prevention in Oman, in your country? Well, um, the Sultanate of Oman is one of the uh, Gulf uh, Cooperation Councils and uh, we have uh, been there in the social security uh, uh, business from 1992. So we are uh, still young. And this youth of the scheme um, launch is not only for um, uh, uh, recognizing Oman, but also the uh, population of, of Oman is also a young population. Um, to give an example on that, um, more than 52% of our population is under the age of 20. That gives us a long time from now for the, our scheme to mature. We have the old age, we have the uh, death and disability, we have the work injuries and occupational diseases, branches of the social insurance. We cover the uh, uh, nationals working in the private sector, that is for my organization. And there are other organizations which cover people working in the civil service and the military service and other places of the work. We have already covered more than 178,000 uh, of our population in our uh, database. Our population is about 2 million uh, people and uh, that's only for the private uh, sector. Our, our scheme is a defined benefit and uh, it's a partially funded system and I think we are facing the demographic shift of the population um, uh, decline of the fertility rate, decline of the birth rates, um, uh, increase in the life expectancy at birth and increase in the um, number of uh, people who are uh, in the category of old age, that is a longevity. All of this is going to uh, constitute, uh, constitute a challenge for the social security for the next uh, decades, which we are now trying to uh, take into consideration by formulating uh, a funding policy for the system. Yes, can you give us a picture about the prevention culture uh, at the workplaces, uh, safety and health at work? How would you de describe this in Oman? Well, uh, in the branch of uh, work injuries and occupational diseases, that we are covering the people who are going to be injured or having to be uh, sick because of the diseases as at work. Um, in that regard, we cooperate with other uh, bodies in the uh, either the government or the private sector in promoting health and safety programs at work, and we have already. Uh, organized two international conferences with the uh, collaboration of one of the uh, oil companies, major oil companies, which, which is uh, um, uh, Oman uh, Petroleum Development uh, Company, and other uh, particip participants from the, uh, from the country. And these uh, conferences have shed lights, shed lights on the importance of the uh, uh, taking in consideration the best practices and strategies that will be implemented at work. 
And I think um, in, uh, in our region, still the matter of health and safety is uh, developing compared to the developed countries. And uh, I think uh, it is one of the important issues that need to be taken in consideration when we program for our, uh, uh, for our um, you know, development in, in work and in society as a, as a, as a whole. Mm -hmm. One more question. Do we have specific problems with prevention, uh, for example, in remote areas, which I could imagine if you compare it with Germany, uh, that you have uh, very remote areas where it's harder to, to, to keep uh, the prevention of culture going? Well, I think you are right. Uh, that is maybe applicable for the remote areas where the uh, population is uh, not enjoying a very good awareness of the uh, But uh, the, um, there are uh, efforts to uh, uh, incorporate these uh, categories of uh, remote areas into the uh, plans, and I think it is on the progress. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. So